And then when she ices all these and gets them all smoothed off, she'll put borders on these just to finish it off. strawberries will go right in the middle of all those dollops. And that's a strawberry tort. So we're over here, we're still up in the decorating department, but we're over here with Taryn, who's um, working on some decorated cakes here. Um, she's doing a floral cake, so just some, some different buttercream flowers. All of these are made by hand, so she is She's working on that right now. She's very fast, very precise. So there's lots of different types of flowers we do. She's working on just like a drop flower. We can of course do roses. Um, they do a beautiful Gerber daisy. Um, they can do a lot of different type of types of flowers. And of course we also do the, the gum paste flowers, which um, we put on wedding cakes and special occasion cakes as well. Now yeah, she's doing a rose. She's adding the green leaves in there. <laughs> adding a buttercream border. She's going to change her tip out and uh, put some writing on the cake. And there we have it. 
to finish floral design cake. Now we're going to check out some of our, our uh, different decorated cakes. We do cakes here at the bakery for all occasions, um, you know, everything from birthday cakes, baby showers, um, graduations, pretty much anything, any occasion you can think of. Um, so here you can see, you know, some of our traditional birthday cakes, sports related cakes, uh, train dinosaurs, you know, all those. And as we kind of go up here, we've got, you know, a selection of just a few different ideas for baby showers um, that we do our baby, uh, baby bump, our pee in the pod cake, our baby bottom cake, a carriage, um, here's a teapot. Um, as we continue to go up, you know, we have some ideas for um, a baby bassinet, um, a sleepover cake, um, jungle animals that could go for a lot of different occasions. Um, and as you continue to come up, we have some great tier cakes. Here's a Sesame Street tier cake. Um, as you continue to come over, we have a Ninja Turtle tier cake. Um, a Minnie Mouse tear cake. And then as you continue to come over, we have some different other examples. They could go for, you know, quinceañeras, sweet sixteens, whatever, whatever the occasion really is. Um, so our cakes are really really popular because most of the, the items on them are all made by hand. All the fondant work is is cut out, molded, um, and handmade. Um, so it really makes a special presentation on, on um, you know, the big day that you'll be celebrating. If you continue to come over here, we have, um, you know, one of our newer designs, a Noah's Ark cake here that um, has all handmade animals. They're all made out of fondant, um, all completely edible. Um, but they're all hand molded out of fondant. Um, we have a really popular design over here, our, our Minion Cake, um, with the Despicable Me movies coming out and everything. This has been a really popular design over the last couple of years. Um, and again, everything on there is, is completely edible, um, handmade. So our decorators really take a, a great deal of time on these cakes. Um, and this is, this is just some ideas for, for people. We can really do anything, you know, your um, only limit really is your imagination with, with cakes. So we have people all the time coming in with ideas that they've seen, you know, from Pinterest and different ideas. And we can then um, get ideas together for things we could do for um, these occasions on their cakes. So if you keep coming down here, we're going to also check out some wedding cakes. So we have just as many ideas for wedding cakes. But here's just some, some designs that are new with, with this season. So you can see um, down here in this one, it has um, a rosette design on the bottom tier, kind of emulating a bride's gown. And then up at the top, you can see the handmade fondant lace. Again, everything on this cake is completely edible, down to the flowers at the top. They're actually gum paste. Um, and even the little beads on here are an edible, edible bead as well. So everything on that cake is completely edible. Um, as you move over here, then we have, you know, a fondant ruffle design um, with an edible lace. Um, this one is fondant covered. Uh, a lot of these designs could also be done with buttercream as well, just depending on, on the bride's taste. As you come over here, um, this cake actually is um, ombre with, with coconut the whole way down. And then since metallics have been so, so uh, in style this year with weddings, you know, we have a gold fondant lace design as well as a silver design with some buttercream ruffles on this one. So we, for wedding cakes, what we typically do is we bring the, the couple in and we actually do a consultation in our store. And we sit down with them and we talk about what they're looking for for their big day, uh, whether it's a cake or cupcakes or a dessert table. And we uh, do a cake tasting at the same time. And then we, we assist them with you know, placing whatever order they may need for their big day. Okay. We're back in the production area and Pedro's just finishing off some of the whoopie pies. Um, filling them with the buttercream and then we put the assembling them and that's how we sell them in the store, large ones, medium ones. Some of the ones we saw earlier today were just not filled or ready to go, but these are filled now with buttercream and ready to be wrapped and sold for the store. And um, we had made some earlier this, this evening. And, um, so we're just finishing them off and getting them ready for sale. Pretty much it's just something that's pretty popular in this area, whoopie pies. Different fillings, different flavors. And, um, and we kind of have a taste of Pennsylvania basket that kind of has 
spaghetti bread, whoopie pies, apple bread, pecan pie, shoe fly pie, kind of has a combination of the items that we kind of draw from Pennsylvania. And this is one of them, of course, whoopie pies from our area. And then, um, and then they're ready to go. And then back over here, we had seen some things that, uh, we were chopping the spaghetti bread earlier, and now it's come out of the oven since then. And you can see what the finished product looks like. This is the trademark spaghetti bread with the cream cheese, the onions, and the poppy seeds that um, Dave was chopping earlier in the day. And um, now it's been proofed and baked and out of the oven. And um, we thought we might want to show you that while, while you're still here. Some of the pies that were being poured and ready to go in the oven kind of have come out since then too. And um, that way you can see what the finished product looks like. There's those shoe fly pies and there's some of the fruit pies you saw with the crumb topping um, that went in the oven a little while ago and now they're out and ready for sale. And then um, Chino here is getting ready to do some cinnamon swirl bread. We, uh, this is that same dough. We usually um, brush some margarine on the outside and then we roll it in the cinnamon. This is a popular breakfast bread also. And then it's one of the breads that, uh, same with the apple bread, which is in the oven still. The apple bread's in the oven. I can show you that then. And then we'll just roll that in the cinnamon. We can slice it and then they can toast it. It's good in the toaster. Any of these breads. Um, make a nice breakfast bread as far as that goes. And, um, And a lot of these things are started, you know, hours ago with mixing the doughs and then giving them floor time and then giving them makeup time and proofing time. And it's a lot of steps to everything, of course, in most businesses there is. With making the cake down here and then you saw also them setting up cakes upstairs and a lot of different aspects. We do a lot of the mixing of the icings, mixing of the cake, baking the cake down here. And then of course upstairs they finish it off and um, take it from there. This is the apple cinnamon bread we had chopped when we chopped the spaghetti bread. I don't think it's quite done yet, but that's um, also similar to that other bread. It's a breakfast bread, has apples. A cinnamon and a little bit of walnuts in there and that's a popular one that's served also sliced and can be toasted and I'll let that go a little bit longer and then we had red velvet cake we were working on some red velvet layers and some different red velvet sheets and um, some different cake production today some of the oddball cakes we have for the other layers squares and different sizes for tier cakes and things like that um, that are also coming up over this weekend but depending on what size, we make a lot of these up with cream cheese icing. It's a very popular red velvet cake. Good simple tort um, that's very popular in this area. And then there's sheets also we do for slices and stuff like that. I'm not sure if Rachel had talked about that upstairs, but that was probably something she had gone over upstairs in the decorating where they finish everything off. And that's usually pretty much, we do a lot of the cake production and icing down here. And then we'll, um, they'll take it from there and set it all up and prepare it for the customer's finished products for the store. We wanted to thank PCN and Craig for coming out today and sharing with our business. We've been in business 29 years and it's, it's been a, a good long time and we've, we've my wife and I started it back 29 years ago, and we're here in Camp Hill on Market Street in Camp Hill, 1713 Market Street. We've been here the whole time, and um, wonderful community, and nice location, and we've also 
Got a website we'd like you guys to look at, pabakery.com. You can view a lot of our products and things you might have not seen. And thanks to Rachel, our daughter, she's been with us the whole time for a while now and really helped us move the business into the 21st century. And um, just thank you for coming out and sharing the business and thank you.